I'm here with Jimmy Carton, and uh, of course we uh, think of Jimmy as the bard of Irish ballads, and we're talking about the story behind the song, and uh, today we're talking about the song called Ireland's Call, which is something that you uh, generally do include in your shows. Uh, this song, as far as I understand, is unique in that it's an original piece, which you had a hand in writing. So. Um, Tell us about that song and the, the writer, Jimmy Matthews, and how this all came to be. Well, that's true. Um, Jim Matthews, Jimmy Matthews, was a, well, he's a, still an entertainer, probably living and working away in Belfast, but he only lived in Toronto for a while. He worked in the Windsor House, like I did on occasion, famous Irish uh, meeting house at the corner of Church in Richmond. And after the show, we would sit on the back stairs, and he had a song. He called me and he said, Jimmy, I have a song for you. I, I've written a song for you. And I said, really? So let's sit down. And so late at night, after a few pops, we, uh, we sat and went over the song, and we worked on the lyrics on it and changed some of the words and mixed them up and changed them around and eventually came up with a song that I was really, really, really in proud of and loved and immediately want to record it and indeed when we recorded we titled our our next uh, CD Ireland's Call it was the this was done long long time before the Irish rugby team decided to have a song called Ireland's Call which how dare they well it's a bit of a dirge to be quite honest with mm -hmm. you but but our Ireland's Call was long long before that and Jimmy Matthews God bless him what a wonderful guy you know what a wonderful person. Well, certainly a talented songwriter, yes, no indeed. question. Now, uh, there, I think there are some lyrics in particular in this song that really resonate with you. What, well, which well, ones are well, those? Yes, if, if people listen to the lyrics, the song spans from 1798 to 1916, up until the, at that time, up until the late 90s, 1990s and 2000. So if you think about it, the first verse we talk about, it rang out the tone of freedom where Jimmy wanted to get that word in tone because he was Theobald Wolf tone, 1798 period, you know. And then in 1916, he talks about Connolly, one of my heroes. And then in the final verse we talk about, we, we, we insisted on putting in the rule that, uh, you know, and still today in Belfast, you know, and in, in, in parts of Ireland, there were still the same kind of heroes, like Bobby Sands. Beautiful. Yeah. And so do you think the song is still relevant today? Very in, much so. You know, even in a, in a wider um, a wider context where it's not just about Irish people fighting for their freedom and their, in, you know, their independence, is it? It's really something mm. that can uh, be applied all over the world. That's correct. And it, what, it, what it talks about really is the necessity for, for strength and for belief and to hold on to the idea, uh, mm -hmm. you know, doesn't necessarily have to be Irish. That's right. Yeah. Great. Thank you for that. Ireland's call. In seventeen and ninety eight, my cousin. Sound rang out the tone for freedom. Oh, Ireland. 